Uh, we've seen Jane Sancho, of course, featuring Manchester United's pre-season friendly. This is what Ten Hag had to say about the Englishman. We spoke well. Everyone can make a mistake. If the player reflects on this well, you draw a line and move on. This club needs good players, and one thing is certain, Jaden Sancho is a good player. I hope that we still click and that he will can contribute to our success. Yep, Mark, everything you would expect a manager to say, I suppose. Well, he probably should have said it a bit earlier, like last season when it all got out of hand, didn't it? I mean, it did. Blo it, it was something that came out of nothing, really. It was basically Jaden Sancho had, you know, taken umbrage at being set, being told that he hadn't trained well the week before. And it ended up being a nine month kind of spell out of the of the team off to Borussia Dortmund. So I think Ten Hag has taken a pragmatic view. Whether he's been urged to take that pragmatic view by his bosses and suggested that look, you've got a really good player here that you need to get more out of, I think that's more likely than Ten Hag suddenly waking up in the summer thinking, yeah, I'd really like to bring Jaden Sancho back. But I think it's good for Man United that if if Sancho can play like he played for Dortmund in the Champions League last season. They've got a really good player there. Or if he gets back in pre-season, looks okay, they might be able to get him on, move him on to, to find a buyer for the player. So whatever happens, it's better. It's a better situation than it was five, five or six weeks ago. So I'm not sure Sancho will cut it at Man United. I think he's had long enough there. I think over oh, maybe two or three seasons now. He's never quite shown the player he can be. So I think this is more of a short-term fix. But at least it's some sort of fix that it means that Sancho, United, Ten Hag can get something out of it. I do think that by the start of the season, you'll probably find a new club somewhere. Mario, do we ever really forgive and forget? Sounds deep. I mean, look, you, you, you forgive, but you don't forget. I don't think, <laughs> and then half, yeah. you understand the way. Yes, <laughs> you know, like, hey, oh, I'm just being honest. Be proud of you, if, Mario. You coach, <laughs> if you are a coach like that, he knows what's happening. He knows what's going on. He knows what he had to see. He signed a new deal, Ten Hag. Then he needs to look at a Sancho because we, we're talking about Sancho before he came to Menu. Everybody was raving about it, including myself. Liked him. I could take players on and show the ability that he had. Then, okay, Dortmund, I saw it coming back. And now he goes back to Menu. The only thing he can say now is like to get something out of it. If he's not performing like they want him from the get go, eh, I'm talking about, if he's not doing that, they're going to look at somebody else, but they have to bring up the value. And the only way to bring up the value is you have to come together again. And that's what Ten Hag did. Came together, making sure that he feels good, and hopefully you get something out of it. And if not, like Mark said, they probably will part ways. Because I don't know if, if, if he can make him... Because if you have a, 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 an argument that long as a player, will your player still trust you? That is mm. a question you're always going to ask yourself as a manager. And if that doesn't happen... It's not going to look really good there. So that's why it will become part ways. Stevie? Well, there's, there's two things in my head. One is, I know a certain previous Manchester United manager who, when Jadon Sancho walked back in the door, would have grabbed them by the scruff of the neck and kicked them so hard up the back side. <laughs> was and aggressive. Back spinning out the door. <laughs> and the other thing is, <laughs> when he actually did In the play, good old days. <laughs> when he actually did play before the he fell old. out, he looked as though it was too, too much for him. Right. So, yeah, I don't... This I is not going to work. No, I, I don't see how it is. So where does he go? Dortmund. Dortmund? Dortmund seems the, the Third obvious. Third time's the charm. You know, do, do Man United just cut the losses and... Just get him, get rid of him, or does he just hang about in the wings to his contracts, sort of nearly up, and then figure it out? I, 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 I don't see how it changes. I just don't. The most important thing is, on the field, it looked as though being at Man United was too much for him. Mm. Back, back to well, if, if not Dortmund, somebody in Bundesliga. It's just, it just hasn't been a good fit. And and okay. and look, he goes to Germany, outstanding. Manchester United play what? 100 million plus for him. D either doesn't settle in, in Manchester United or the Premier League. Take your pick as to, as to which it is. Goes back to goes back to Dortmund. Outstanding. Dortmund gets to the Champions League final. Um, I, I, I don't think... Well, I think Ten Hag is doing this exactly as he should. Involving him, keeping him playing. You're so happy with him. So then... All of a sudden, if somebody does want to come in for him, they have to pay that little bit extra, well, a little bit more than if you if he wasn't playing in preseason and Ten Hag still wasn't wasn't speaking to him. So you're playing this right. And now, I, I, again, if if Jaden Sancho hadn't had that second spell last season at Borussia Dortmund, 
I would be far more skeptical to pay the kind of money that Manchester might even interest Manchester United. Not what they're looking for, might even interest. But he did, so somebody takes a chance. Let me, let me go back to your little comment there about, about the good old days. The only thing I can guarantee you is when Jaden Sancho is sitting in that dressing room and Tegs Hans coming out, Ten Hag's coming out and talking to everybody, all the other ones are sitting going, yeah, he's back. Yeah, he didn't win. Who won the battle here? Jaden Sancho, this guy, we can take advantage of this guy. That's what they're all thinking. Take advantage of who? Ten Hag. Really? He's been told yeah. to take him back, and Ten Hag's done what he's told. That like a good little. So you think fight. that then sets a precedent that others? A hundred percent. That's a bit. That's a bit hard. A hundred percent. A football <laughs> dressing room. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you, it's a tough old place to survive, <laughs> and the one thing that you do is you're always looking for a weakness, whether it's the manager, whether it's the coach, whether it's the guy upstairs giving the contracts. Doesn't matter. You're looking for little weaknesses that you can take advantage of somewhere down the line. And when Ten Hag comes in and gives Sancho a nice little cuddle... And I don't think he's giving him a cuddle. I don't well, think he's done that. He, oh, he's giving them all <laughs> No, it's going to be no cuddles. Oh, Where are yeah. the cuddles, yeah. Stevie? Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yes. Oh, oh. No, welcome back. Yeah, good <laughs> well done. Oh, I, I don't know. You've... Yeah. you've Let me tell you, he's, he's, he's already lost. As soon as Sancho walks in... Yeah, the cuddle door. He's lost. Mario, they're cuddles. I may be asking for dinner, as you said, you know, maybe he said to me, let's grab a bit. But look, away from that, I think, he like, what Shaka said was, exactly, I mean, I, I highlighted, it's, it's a, 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 a setup, you understand, in the, sen in the sense of this cannot take too long. Because this, also the guys that come, you know, like came and, you know, the, the guy the, that took over and, and at and work. Okay, then Ashworth came also. He said he started working straight away. When he said that, you know, he came out and said, oh, I, when I arrived, I started working straight away. That sets up how they think about the business-wise. Also, the club has to be healthy. The only way to be healthy is making sure that everybody is there, has the same mindset. So that's why I said it's just a matter of time. If nothing happens, it's because Sancho is playing good. And if not, they will look to let him go because Ten Hag will not want somebody that affects the moral of the team. Because we saw what he did with um, when he just came. That was the hardest thing for him. But <laughs> you knew it was going to happen when he got the fallout with Ronaldo. You, you saw what happened. So there was the beginning of him, of his, his time frame, when he started to work there and dealing different with it. When he was in Holland at Ajax, it's different. When you deal with a star there, the club, the country maybe is smaller and try to understand you. But when it comes to England, it's a totally different beast. And that's why he will not allow Sanchez to make movements too big for him. Mario, to Stevie's point, if you're in that Manchester United dressing room, are you going, oh, hello, look, hey, you could take advantage of this manager? Yeah, I think what Stevie says is more like we we are humans, you understand, as footballers, we are always um, questioning who is standing in front of us. Why? Because we want to make sure that we have an ultimate leader in front of us. The moment we feel or we have doubt in that leader's possibility, that's when we start any question and do things that is sometimes against that leader. And it, it sometimes comes out, you know, because sometimes you come become creative and you keep your mindset in the right direction. Nothing bad happens. But the moment you go start working against him, it's not going to look cute because you're never going to beat the manager because he's always going to win if he does well, I'm talking about. But if he's not doing well, it falls out and it becomes a big rel. And that's kind of what happened uh, the, the beginning when Sanchez kicked off. So Stevie, I totally understand. And it is like that. It's no different. Where does Sancho go, Mark? Well, about a year ago, Chelsea tried to sign him and that, that was part of the reason did. why he wasn't <laughs> particularly happy at the start of the season. No, well, exactly, yeah, Chelsea got to sign everybody. So that, that was last August. So, you know, <laughs> Chelsea are always a possibility. And I, I kind of did, I disagree with that a little bit. I, I don't think the Bundesliga is, is only real. I think because of what he did in those Champions League games against PSG, I, I think there'll be a market in the Premier League. You could see... You can see the likes of West Ham, Chelsea, maybe Newcastle. The, the, the clubs that have got a bit of money and a bit of ambition that want to kind of get to the next level. They'll, they'll see Sancho and think, he's only 23, he might go again, but then again, he might not. But I, I do think that what happened at Dortmund will, will give him more options. And I think the guys are right. I think this is just a move to to get him a move, just to make sure he's more, a more saleable asset in the sense that he's not no longer training with the reserves. But it's an uneasy truce, this. It, it reminds you a little bit of when Carlos Tevez went back to Man City under Mancini. They went back because the club 
the senior figures wanted it to happen so that it would make him a easier to get rid of at some point down the line. It never worked. And I think Sancho's the same. He's not been good enough for Man United for the last two or three years to, to make United really try hard to keep him. But the guys are right. You know, the fact that the, 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 the players will look at Ten Hag and think, yeah, I'm not sure about you being this tough disciplinarian that you say you are because you've lost this battle. Anthony is another issue that, you know, the players look at Anthony and think, well, he never plays very well. Why are you always picking him? So mm. there are a few issues for Ten Hag to address. It's all been kind of, there's been a bit of a, a rose tinted spectacles look at United this summer because he's got this, He's got this stay of execution. They've, they've triggered an extension to his contract. So, you know, Ten Hag's the man. But the reality is, a lot of the questions that were unanswered last year are still unanswered now. And then.